gathered together today in the sight of God, the witness and blessed to join in together of John and Sarah in marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana and of Galilee and in a sacrificial love that has given us the love, the example for the love of husband and wife. John and Sarah come now to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. I ask you both now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Sarah, will you have John to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? If so, I will. John, Will you have Sarah to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaken all others be faithful to her, for as long as you both shall be? If so, I will. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, John, take you, Sarah. I, John, take you, Sarah. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, for as long as we both shall live, for as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Sarah, take you, John. I, Sarah, take you, John. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow, as a sign of my vow, and with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. John, I give you this ring. John, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> From the start, Sarah seemed to do very well putting up with John's oddities and humor, which I can only assume helped prepare her for how good of a kindergarten teacher she is. <laughs> Before we get back to part, I have some unsolicited advice. Sarah must be fed every two hours while her attitude grows to six foot four. Oh God, you've consecrated the covenant of marriage that ends represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon John and Sarah that they may surely keep their marriage covenant and so grow in love and godliness together. Lord, we pray that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You have declared your sin and your vows before God, before your families and friends, with the joint of hands and the giving of the freedom of I announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> it's my privilege. Amen. It's my privilege and honor to introduce for the first time ever Mr. and Mrs. John and Sarah Knight. <laughs> 